Hello? Hello, Tim? Yes. This is Greg from the Symphony. You checked out some sheet music oh. sheet music from us? I'm sorry, one more time? You checked some you checked out some sheet music from us? Uh when? Oh, a long time ago. Like way back in I don't know, it is a long time ago. Possibly back in April, I don't know. Okay. Something like that. But there's a small problem with it. Okay. Like we just looked over the sheet music that you returned and um I mean I don't know how old you are, but it looks like you you um you drew little pentagrams in all of the notes, like in the whole notes. You, you turned the whole. I didn't do what? You turned the whole notes into little pentagrams, little satanic pentagrams. Uh, I don't think so. No, no, I. It's right here on the on the sheet, and it shows your name on it. And and you made you you ruined the sheet music. You made it satanic. Um, are you trying? Is this a joke or something? No, of course not. I wouldn't joke about something like this. I am a Christian. Uh, clearly, you're not. I'm. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're doing here, but this is not funny. I'm so. not trying to be funny, and I don't think it's funny either. Why would you do this to sheet music? I don't know what you're talking about. Who is this again? This This is Greg from the <laughs> Symphony. You you, uh, you you play the viola, right? Yeah. Your name yeah. is Greg. Yeah. You play the viola, right? What, are you the librarian or something? Well, hey, don't worry about it. No, I am worried about it because this is not right. So can I speak with your manager? I agree. It's not right. You shouldn't be drawing little pentagrams on your sheet music. Like, what are you? I'm not. Are you in junior high or something? Greg, you're being incredibly inappropriate. Can I speak with your manager, oh, please? Oh, you want to know what's inappropriate? Me handing out the sheet music to someone that has little pentagrams all over it. Thank God I noticed it. Greg, um, may I speak with your manager, please? No, he's not in. It's Martin Luther King Day. Where he, he's not a Satanist like you are. He, he actually celebrates the holidays. Greg, you're saying some very inflammatory things I think you're going to regret. Um, who is your manager? I don't think I'm going to regret anything. I think you're going to regret things when you die and you go to hell for drawing pentagrams everywhere. What, what are you, a pagan or something? I'm just writing down, okay. you die and... Oh, you're going to turn this into a threat. Hell. You're going to tell everyone okay. I said you're going to die. Guess what? You are going to die. I'm... Probably in like 40 or 50 years. Or, or, excuse me, maybe 70 or 80 years since you're clearly in junior high. I'm clearly... In junior high. Right, right, in... right, right down, I am retarded. Junior high. I have no class. I, I think pentagrams are clever. I hate the baby Jesus. Write that part I hate down. What? You hate the baby Jesus. <laughs> okay. I am a Satanist and I will go to hell when I die. But anyway, look, if, if you can't take care of your sheet music that you sign out, then maybe you just shouldn't sign out sheet music from here anymore, okay? That, I didn't uh, take any sheet music and do anything to oh, it. Oh, that's so. bullshit, because I have your name and phone I'm number sorry. right here. It's your signature. <clears throat> you, you play the viola, right? Yes, I do play the viola. Oh, that's pretty gay. Why don't you play a man's instrument? Play a trumpet or Wait, hold on. trombone. Man, you also said that's pretty gay? No, you misunderstood. I just said maybe you should just be playing a trombone or something. That's what Richard Cardo plays. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Uh, it means, uh, come on, viola. Say what? I, I'm just saying, the viola. Isn't that a girl's instrument? Isn't it a girl's instrument? Are you sure this is a real call? Because this is. No, of course. I wouldn't. I wouldn't kid about anything ever. But what okay. I'm saying is just you know, grow up. Grow up and get a life. That's what I'm saying. Write that down. Grow up and get a life. Write that ten times on that sheet of paper. Okay. Um, well, I'm sorry you've mistaken whatever you think you're doing here. Um, I didn't I'll mistake for you. shit. I and, mean, it, it um, says right here. I'm has, sorry, I can't hear you. It has your name. It says right here. You play viola. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure I checked out sheet music, but I don't know. You must have someone else must have checked it out, or I don't know what concert this is from, or anything. So. Yeah. Well, you can. So, what concert is this from? You can pretend you didn't do it, but I know you did it, and I'm I'm putting your picture and your name on the wall, and and you I'm saying that. we will not so check out sheet from? music. I don't have to tell you. All I'm saying is grow up and get a life. And uh, I didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, you did. No, I didn't. I, I wrote it down. You you did this. You drew I little, little pentagrams. Don't know what you're talking about, Greg? Uh, I told you what I'm talking about, so you know what I'm talking about. No, you, I don't. You can say that all you want, but we both know. We both know that you you 
think it's hilarious to no, call Greg, it a pentagram. We, we don't even understand what you're talking about. All right. Well, happy Martin Luther King Day. Have a nice day. Um, so, what do you have your, uh, who's your manager again? Uh, his name is Brian Wolf, but you don't want to talk to Brian Wolf because Buster Casey is Brian Wolf's superior. So, Buster Casey is who you want to talk to. Mr. Casey. The director? Yeah. Okay. He's All right, great. I'll be giving him a call. Thank you. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico, you're listening to The Snowplow Show. Now it's time. Cactus. 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 I'll make you think, stupid. Cactus. 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 Get off the phone. Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my balls. Cactus. 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 I think this call is a hoax. Cactus. 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 Roy the retarded boy. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 Get off this fucking phone. Leave me alone. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 520. Today is December 19th, 2018. And this one's brought to you by a high school graduate and Julian J, Christine, Nikki D, and Simspeak. Thanks all five of you for sponsoring the show today, being supporters on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. And as always, thanks to the new people for signing up like Ian H and Jesse, Paul K, Callum M, Alan H, Christian K, Chris J, and Rod L. Those people now all have access to the entire archive of secret hobo sodes. And they get a brand new one every single week. I was going to make today's show a hobo sode. I've already done the pranks on today's show that you're about to hear. But I just kept going on and on and doing more of them. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to make this a real show. Hopefully you don't mind that it's another mall show. But at least I'm not pretending to be Santa in today's show. So that's something, right? Uh, Important news tonight, which I don't even think I'm going to get the show out before this happens, but tonight Riley is going to be on the PLA call-in show. I think we're doing it around 4 p.m. Pacific time, which means I don't have a whole lot of time to edit the show, which means I'm probably not going to get this out until tomorrow. But maybe I will, so maybe this announcement will make sense. But if the show does come out tomorrow, then be sure to go back on the Facebook and listen to the PLA call-in show with Riley. And I did one with Rappy McRapperson this past Saturday too. And I've got it half edited, but um, you know, I just need to finish it up. I've been kind of slow about getting that finished. It's been a busy week, everyone. Okay. I'm getting there. It's almost finished. I've, I've edited 40 minutes of it. And then I get to edit the video version of it. Then after that's done, I'll edit the Riley episode. Fun times. I bet y'all get all that done by this weekend though. Anyway, here's today's show with yet even more mall calls. All right, um, you make the call. I'm not making the call. You make the call. Fine, you read the number. Okay, we'll read the number. And Baker. 555 Hello? Hi. Who's this? A secret admirer. Oh, you are, huh? I saw you on the street the other day. Oh, yeah? Maybe we could get together. Well, I'll have to call you back. Oh, uh, I didn't give out my number. Oh, that's okay. I've got it already. 555-3298. By the way, is your mother there? To get Bell Atlantic caller ID, call 1-800-237-4900 now. Previously on the Snowplow Show, I did calls to some malls, and I think I did that on the show before the last show, and maybe even on the show before the last show, and guess what I'm going to do on this show? I'm going to call some random stores inside of a mall somewhere in the United States, because on the last show, the last call or two that I did, I told them that I was uh, cutting a hole in the wall, you know, making a window or whatever I said. I can't remember exactly what I said, but I just remember that I wanted to do more of that. But at that point, the show was already too long. So today, I'm probably going to do nothing but telling stores that I'm going to cut into their store. I'm going to cut a window into the wall or a door. It'll be like tenants from hell, but in a mall. It's brilliant, right? Thank you for calling Zoom. He's here at the mall. This is Hassan. I'm going to help you. Hey, Hassan. This is Chad next door at the shoe store. Yo, what's up, bro? Hey. Hey, it's your bro. This is, I need to let you know we're cutting a hole through the wall. Like a doorway? Okay. 
Uh, it's just going to be like a, a big arched doorway. It's going to be like six feet long. Okay. And uh, we're going to be coming through the wall any second. So if you have anything on the wall, you might want to take it down. Wait, which wall now? Uh, you know, right in the middle of the sales floor. And it's just going to be a permanent opening in between our two stores. It's between be- Rack Room and Zoomies? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be an arched doorway. It's going to look really nice. Okay. Um, I need to know which... Uh, I'm- I'm trying to see which wall that that you guys are on. I'm I'm assuming our back wall, correct? Yeah, but right in the middle of the right in the middle of the sales floor. You know? Oh, wow. Okay, we got to we got a lot of we got to move a lot of stuff, man. Yeah, um, you better hurry cuz we're getting ready to saw through. We've already sawed through on this side and we re- we removed all the boards and stuff in there, all the All right. The whatever um, they're called. Thank you. Uh, thank you for for the he- heads up. All right. Yeah, no Bye-bye. problem. But and and we're gonna, um, you know, we can cross promote. Like we can bring some of our shoe stuff in there and just set it around. Um, you can do the same I, if you I, want. I would have to see that um, and uh, talk to my store manager. But uh, thank you. I, I kind of gotta go, but uh, we'll, we'll be talking soon, my man. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll be talking when we come through the wall. All right. But um, what do you have to go so quickly for? Well, because I'm. I have customers, and I have to call my uh, my boss because I we weren't scheduled to have any like construction go on. Yeah, well, you don't have to do it though. It'll be easy. We'll we'll take care of it all. I'm just all right. doing it because we're slow over here. I, I'm just bored. All right. So yep, Bye. coming through the wall any minute. Flame Bride, this is Shay. How may I help you? Hey Shay, this is Chad over at Journeys. Mhm. And um, you know how our stores share a wall in between them? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting a doorway through that wall so we can just walk over there. We can cut through like a shortcut. Mm-hmm. So I, I, is that your back room area over there? Yeah, let me, um, I'm going to give you the phone to one of our managers. Hold on one second. Which one? Okay, hold on one second. Some guy calling from Journey. Hello? Oh, that's weird. They hung up on me. What was that dial tone thing? That was so weird. I'm going to try them right back. I wonder if I could have dialed a number from that. Thanks for calling my brother. Mom, how can I help you? Hey, uh, it's Chad over at Journey. As I called a minute ago, I got hung up on. Is I'm it, sorry. I'm oh. trying to get back on the phone. Oh, okay. Is this the manager? It is. Okay, great. Hey, you know how our stores um, at the very back, they share a wall? Uh-huh. I'm going to be cutting a doorway through that wall in just a minute. You're going to be cutting a doorway? Yeah, yeah, like an arched doorway. I think that might be your back room. Okay. I, so, I'm guessing. Okay. So I'm just going to be... just going to be making some noise. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's going to be a permanent doorway in your back room that leads to journeys. Like, it's going to be open. There's going to be no door there, just an open, arched doorway. An open, arched doorway? Just in the stock room? So... Yeah, yes. Is that what's... you be able to see your room? Yeah, you'll be able or to just walk you over. See journey? You can just walk over and shop in journeys if you want. You can just walk into your back room. Your back room will basically become journeys. But you can't store stuff over here. Um, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. So is it like contracted so somebody's coming to do the wall for y'all? Oh, no, I'm just doing it. Like, we're not even that busy today. So um, we have some tools back here. I just started cutting through the wall, and I knocked out some of these, um, oh, what do you call them, you know, studs out of the wall, uh-huh. a beam, and uh, now I'm going to be cutting through the drywall on your side. And uh, if there's anything back there, you might want to move it because it, the it could get caught in my saw. Well, I don't know which wall you're going to be cutting through because one we have bolted and then the other one we already have, we have like hardware on it. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to move that hardware because I'm going to cut right through it. And we're going to have a doorway in between our two stores. Like an arched doorway. Like, seriously? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be really convenient because um, 
like uh, I always park over by the Macy's. And this way, when I get off work, I can just cut through Lane Bryant and just walk over through Macy's. I don't know if we can have that. Uh, I'm well, have to speak with my DM. No, it's fine. It's like I, I'm, I didn't even ask anyone. I just did it. And, you know, it's just the mall property. They, they don't care what you do. As long as you make them money, that's all they care about. Oh, yeah, I'll have to speak with our DM. She's coming tomorrow, so I mean... Okay, well, it'll be done by then. I, I should be all finished, so the DM will be able to look at it and see how nice it looks and how convenient it is, and it'll be done. Did you want to speak with the store manager about it? I thought that's... Either who I'm, I'm not talking to the store manager. This is one of the assistant managers. Oh, was the store manager there? She just came in. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to her. I'll I'll tell Hold her on. that you said it's fine. I wonder if I'll get another dial tone. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I don't think um you'll be cutting through our wall because we have a entire hallway right here. I know. We're we're gonna be make like a hallway in the hallway, like that goes straight across. We've got it all planned out, it's fine. Is this the same person I was talking to before? Yeah, I okay. just went back there. We we don't have a wall that's connected to y'all, so. No, you do. Like, the, there's the hallway, but we're gonna put um, we're gonna build like a hallway straight across the hallway. You know. I'm not too. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you're gonna hit our wall though. So I think it'll just be your wall. Oh no, be no, it's gonna course. go straight through. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. You'll see when I get done. But just so you know, I'm gonna be cutting through here in just a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you know you're on the opposite end of the store, like, or the, of the mall. Yeah, but no, our, 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 like, if you look on a map, you can see that our stores touch. Like, we share a wall. But you, there's just that pesky hallway in between them, but, no, we share a wall. Um, yeah, no, I don't think, I don't think that's us. No, that's definitely you. I can see on the map. There's us, then there's Cinnabon, Verizon Wireless, the Children's Place, and then you. But, like, your store is really long. It goes all the way back, and it touches our store. Just look on the map. You'll see. So, like, there's, there's a hallway that they, they, that they go through. Yeah. So if you cut through your wall, you'll just hit the hallway, and we won't, we won't see any of that. I know, but we're going to build kind of like a hallway across the hallway. Yeah, we, we, can't, we it, can't have that for our store. It's going it it, to it it's gonna cut off the, the normal hallway. And there'll just be a hallway between our two stores. Yeah, but it'll have to stop at our wall. But uh, oh, no, no, it's coming in your store. We're going to do a, a wall, into, a doorway into your store. You'll see. You'll understand when I get it all finished up. It'll be done by the end of today. Um, no, we can't, we can't have that done. Okay, well, no, I wasn't asking so, permission. I'm just calling to let you know it's happening. Yeah, but I'm letting you know that it, it, it can't be done. Oh, it can be done. Like, they, these walls aren't as thick as you think. It's just drywall and stuff. This is Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Hi. Um, so, Danielle is telling me that you're at Journeys right now and doing some construction. Yeah, yeah. We're just going to make a doorway in between our two stores. She doesn't think our stores connect to each other, but they do on that very back wall. Look on a map. I know there's a hallway um, there. We've so got it all figured out. It's fine. So, um, Lane Bryant is right beside Children's Place. Correct. And then you have Cinnabon, and then you have Journey. Right, So, yeah. we are literally several stores down from you guys. Correct, but your store is really long, so they touch in the back, if you know what I mean. Like, it, it's, like, in the, ver the, ver the back walls connect. Look on a map. Go out there and look at the mall directory. You'll see. Okay. Um, you'll see when I so th see. That's why it's going to blow your mind when I get this arched doorway finished, because you'll be able to go in your back room, and your back room will basically be journeys now. Okay. It's just going to be like a shortcut. We can just walk straight through. Okay. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> the mall hasn't notified us of anything like that. Yeah, so, I didn't even tell them. Um, we'll have the authorization from Jamie, the mall manager, before any of that can go through, and Lane Bryant corporate office. No, it's like I didn't ask anyone. I'm just doing it. It's going to happen today. It'll be done by the end of today. Yeah, that, um, 
they, you won't be able to get through our store. Oh, you'll see. No, I'm going to come through the drywall. Okay. Well, uh, we can't authorize that because no, you don't have we have to. gotten no notification of that at all. You don't have to authorize what it. What is it's your just, name? It's just a simple hole. This is Chad. You'll see. Like, if you want to come over here to Journeys and look at what I've done so far, you'll see how it's going to work. But I know our, like, go look at a mall directory first. You'll see how it works. You'll, you'll see how the stores are connected. Anyway, I got to get back to my uh, construction here. I got to start cutting through this wall. Okay, I, we can't authorize, authorize for you to cut through our wall. Yeah, no, that's not what I was asking for. I, I just uh, letting you know so you wouldn't be concerned when you saw the saw blade coming through your wall. And It's just me. I'm just making that doorway in your back room. That's all. I'm just very confused. I'm sorry. I really don't it's, really know. It's okay, honey. It's construction. You're, you're not meant to understand it. You're a woman. Excuse me? I'm just saying, you, you probably just don't understand. That's base. very disrespectful. I know, what, but, um, like, you know. What company are you working for? Are you working for Journey Construction, or where, what are you working what, for No, again? Journeys is a clothing store, dummy. No, I'm just saying that um, map reading is a man's thing, so you wouldn't understand how the layouts are in the store. But if you look at the directory, um, it's pretty simple, and there she goes. I'm telling you guys, they share a wall. It's right there, plain as day. The other lady was saying maybe there's a hallway in between, and I can see that. That's possible. I don't think they put the hallways on the maps because they don't want customers getting any ideas about those hallways. You know how customers are. They'll just go exploring in those hallways. Hey, uh, this is Chad over at the Verizon Wireless next door. Yes. I'm going to be cutting a doorway in between our two walls. Like right now, okay. I'm cutting a doorway in between our two walls. Um, hold on one second. Let me let you speak to Brittany. Okay. Hello? Hey, Brittany. It's Chad over at the Verizon Wireless. Yes, sir. Uh, I just wanted to let you know I'm cutting a, a doorway through the wall today. Um, we're gonna. Um, th no, did y'all talk to our corporate? Because you cannot do that without our corporate. Oh no, I, I I'm just doing it because we're not even that busy today. Um, but it's gonna open up the stores. It's gonna make them look bigger. Um, no, you're not just doing it. You need to call our corporate. Uh, no, I have nothing to do with your corporate. I don't have to get your corporate's permission to do shit. It's the mall's property, and they don't care what we do. They just care that they make money. So uh, we're going to be cutting a doorway through. Uh, I don't know if you have anything on that back wall, but you, you might want to take it down because we're going to cut through it any second now. Um, and then we'll just, you know, we'll be able to cut through. It'll be like a little shortcut. Which wall are you talking about? Uh, the back, the one that connects to Verizon Wireless. You know, we're right next door. So yeah, I know that you are just right next door, but nobody informed me on this. Uh, yes, they did. That's what I'm doing right now. You, you are officially informed. We've cut it through on this side. It's about ready to... We're going to start coming through your drywall any second. So, Why? we have a lot up against our wall. Okay, we'll take it down. Move it. I can't. Is that is that a back room My area? My manager is not here. Is that the back room or is that like the sales floor? It's most likely the sales floor. Cool. Yeah. So your customers can just walk over here and, you know, maybe like they're browsing around your store and they'll see our store and they'll want to get a cell phone with Verizon Wireless. Um... Hi. My manager is not here to confirm this, so I cannot confirm this. Uh, I'm not asking you to confirm anything. I'm just asking you to move that stuff off the wall, or else my saw blade is going to cut right through it. That'll be a mess. Yeah, it will be a mess. All right, so we agree. Uh, please. Uh, no, know, we do not agree. I think we do agree. No, we do not agree. What are you getting all pissy with me for? I'm just letting you know. I'm being nice and letting you know. Hold on. There's going to be a wall. Sarah, There's going to be a door. Verizon is telling me that they're about to cut a hole through our wall. Because they want to open up the floors. And he's arguing with me on the phone. 
tattling on me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I've been telling him, and he says no, he does not have to have our corporate permission. Like, he's arguing with me, and he said that his all blaze is about to go through our stuff. All right, goodbye. Hey, hey, <laughs> ma'am. I love it. Yes. Uh, are you just jealous because we sell more stuff than you do? <laughs> that first girl was such a tattletale. Hi, thanks for calling Reese. This is speaking. How may I help you? Hey, uh, this is um, Chad from the Express next door. Uh huh. Uh, I'm going to be cutting a doorway into your store. You know, our, you know how we share a wall? Uh, so you're going to be cutting a door into our space? Yeah, yeah, just the door. And uh, we'll be able to cut through. You know, our, your customers will be able to walk over here. We'll be able to walk oh. over there. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be cool. Okay. So uh, we're going to be doing that here in just a minute. We've already started on this side. We just got to cut through the drywall, and uh, we'll have a door. It'll be like an arched doorway. Like, oh, it, okay. It's going to be open all the time. And like, gotcha. And like, say your customer's over there browsing for jewelry, and they see our clothes, our nice selection of clothes over here, they can just walk over. Mm-hmm. And vice versa, okay. you know? Maybe you'll get more business this way. Oh. And it'll be like Express has uh -huh. their own jewelry section. Really? Let me see. Where are you calling from? Next door, the ex <laughs> Express. Really? Yep. Okay. Why? Well, you need to come over and talk to the managers before you cut a door. Oh, no, we're going to cut the door first, and then we'll come over. We'll just uh, walk through the door hey, and talk to you guys. don't worry. We know how to put it back up. Oh, no, you can't put it back up. We're you're taking... Dealing with, you're dealing with, we're dealing with uh, Iron Man and Wonder Woman over here. Oh, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna set up a clothing rack over there too. Oh uh, no, you're good. No, no, we we're, we're going to, and in exchange, you can bring some of your diamonds or whatever, and you know, set up a little display over here. We're good. This is gonna be good for both of us. Okay, what else we can help you with? That's it. We're coming through the wall. All here right, just well, a you minute. have a good day, Don, because we're busy. All right. Thanks. Oh, we're busy. Too. We're busier than you. Our store is huge. I'm bragging about how busy she is. Whatever. Here's the Nina's. I have no idea what Nina's is. It looks like it's a boutique for the latest trends. Um, what's that mean? <laughs> Clothes, I guess. A place that women shop at. Nina's. Hey, uh, this is Chad over at Buckle next door. Uh, yes. Hey, uh, you know how we share a wall? Uh-huh. We're going to be scooting our wall over. Um, we're going to be we're going to be moving our wall. It's going to we're going to move it about uh, two feet into your store because we need the extra space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Let me let you talk to the boss. Okay. Buckle's moving into your store two feet. They need the space. Who? Hello. Hey, it's Chad over here at Buckle next door. Uh huh. I don't know why she's laughing at me. I'm just trying to explain to her that we're going to be moving the wall about two feet over. Uh huh. So, like, you know how the wall separates our two stores? We're going to move it two feet into your store because we need the extra space here for inventory. They, uh, I hadn't heard anything about it. Yeah, so. yeah it's happening. What's happening today, we're gonna, we've got some people coming in. They're going to move the entire wall over about two feet. So anything you, that you have up on the wall, you need to scoot over about two feet because you're going to lose two feet of space. Well, let me call the mall manager. I don't know anything about that. No, you don't have to call anyone. We're just... I am the owner. We, we didn't notify anyone. I do. I'm the owner. I do have to. Yeah, but we didn't notify anyone. We're just, we're just doing it. Because you, you guys have more space over there than we do. Listen, you can't do that. You just hold off. You just wait a minute. Well, no, no. It's gonna, we're starting in, in like 30... Hello? <laughs> Hopefully her employee will explain that it was a joke because she seemed to know it was a joke. The boss isn't as bright as her, though. Here's a sunglasses place next to a haagen -Dazs. This is going to make for some great cross-promotion. We're calling Sunglasses. 
Hey, uh, this is Chad over at Candy World. Oh, hey. Next door, you know? Yeah. Hey, you know how we share that wall? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be cutting a window into the wall here in just a minute. Oh, why? Um, it's, we're going to do, we're going to set up like a little sales counter in between the two stores. What are you talking about? So like when your customers are inside of your store at Sunglass Hut, they'll, uh -huh. they'll see like a window of, you know, with, with a, a countertop and everything and they can walk over and they can buy candy from us. Um, I don't know that you guys are allowed to do that. Yeah, we didn't ask anyone. We're just doing it. I don't think the mall would care, really. They just, as long as they're making money, that's all they care about. So, um, yeah, are you next door right now? Yeah, yeah. We're going to put up, like, if, if you don't mind, we'd like to put up, like, a menu of our the stuff we have, like, above the window over inside your store. Yeah, I don't know. Let, let, me, let me come over there. Do you mind? Um, I, well, I don't know. We're busy right now. We're getting ready to saw through the wall. But I don't know that you can just saw through the wall. No, it's cool. Like, do you have anything on the wall? Because you're going to want to move that because we're getting ready to saw through. Well, you can't just saw through the wall. So I would, I would oh, no, probably we, tell you, like, we, hold off. No, we can saw through the wall. It's just drywall. It's easy. It's, it's not even... Yeah, I know that it's easy. I'm saying legally, I don't know that you can do that. I'm not, like, physically talking about sawing through the wall. Oh, no, there's no, no legal issues with it. We're, we're, uh, it's cool. Like, it's the mall property. Well, they don't care. Yeah, I don't know that I would want a window just in, in the middle of the store. So, no, it'll, it'll be you know, good cross-promotion. You can walk up to the window and sell... Huh? You can walk up to the window and sell things, you know, sunglasses to candy people. No, I kind of like walking out of the store and selling it to them. Like, I, I like the walk sometimes. Yeah, but this will make it easier. Like, don't you want to make money? No, I'm not. I don't really like making money. I'm against it, in fact. Then why do you have a store inside the mall? Because, you know, well, I have to make money to, you know, feed my family. That's the only reason. But I am really against it. I'm against the corporate world. So you work in a mall. Okay. So don't you want to make more money so you can, you know, feed your family with more food? No, I'm content right where I'm at. Yeah, but any, they could I always... I just make just, enough just to get by. That, that's dumb. You're living paycheck to paycheck. You need to make more money. How can you tell me that I'm dumb, sir? Do you know me, Chad? Chad, have you ever met me before? No, but you sound like an idiot. Like, you don't want to make more money? Like, look, it doesn't even matter what you want. You don't have to make any money at this. I want to make but more Chad, money. If, and I'm putting Chad, the window. The real idiot is the person still speaking to me right now after I told you that you're not going to cut through the wall. Oh, we're cutting so, through the wall. We've already cut through on this side. We're getting ready to cut through on your side. You can't, oh, have you? You can't tell us what to do on the mall's property. It's not your property. Okay, go ahead and cut through the wall. Let's see what happens. Oh, we're going to. We're going to set up a counter. Okay, go for it, Chad. We're, we're going to sell it Chad, to your go customers. For it. I I don't hear the saw, Chad. Oh, it's it's going to start in just a second. Chad, I don't hear the... You know, Chad, I'm standing in the candy walls right now, and there's no sign of you. Oh, shit. I think you figured me Are out. Are you an imaginary person, Chad? I, I think you just figured me out. I, I think I'm on to you. Crap. <laughs> Hold on. I got to start up my saw. Okay. Let me know if I can do anything outside to help you. Okay, she hung up. I thought the power tools would help convince her that I was real, but nope, it didn't work. Number one, Victoria Tigger, may I help you? Hey, uh, this is Chad next door at the Clarks. Okay. You, you know the Clarks, right? We, we share a wall? Um, yes. Okay, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be moving the wall uh, a little bit into your store, about three or four feet. Um, hold on, let me get my manager to talk to you. Okay. Okay. Because Victoria's Secret is huge, you guys. It's like the biggest store in the mall. Clark's is this stupid, skinny little shoe store or something. Seems really unfair. Thank you for holding. This is Kelly. Hey, Kelly. It's Chad from next door at the Clark's. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm calling to let you know we're getting ready to move the wall uh, in between our two stores. Okay. We're going to scoot it into your store about three feet. Um, that's news to us. I know. That's why I'm letting you know. So just so okay. you know, like any uh, shelves or whatever you have in front of that wall, you might want to scoot them in about three feet because of the walls getting so ready. So you're, 
you're moving, you're physically moving the wall right now. Yeah, it's going to be a permanent move. Um, just so when we, is when is that happening? Today. Like, today. Uh, within the next hour, we've got the no. contractors over here right what now. What is that? So you're you're you work at Clark's? Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, I work over here at Clark's. I'm the assistant manager. Okay, so the mall didn't relay anything about that. We have merchandise and we have customers in our store. I know you're going to have no to... There's no way that the wall can be moved. No, the wall can definitely be moved. It's easy. That They do it all the time when new stores come in. They're, they're sectional. They, they're just, they just move them right yeah, over. Yeah, that's... The, it's operating um, hours right now. We have merchandise I know, but it's the, it's the busy season. When else are we supposed to do it? But right. So just scoot um, everything in, because you guys have plenty of space over there. We're like this stupid little skinny so shoe store. I'm going to call. Um, we have to go through corporate right now, so I need to call oh, I don't. mall management. I don't have to go through um, corporate. I don't work we, for your corporate. This is the first we've... What's that? I don't work for your corporate. Oh, I know you don't. You don't yeah. work for... I'm just saying there's no way that our walls are going to be moved right now. Oh, yes, they are. No, within the next hour. Uh, we've got the guys are over here. Are you at Clark's right now? Yeah, yeah. We're getting ready to move the wall. Okay, like, I'm on my way. Like, I know you don't okay. understand because you're a woman and you don't understand how, you Excuse know. Excuse me? Well, I'm just saying. I you, don't understand. You don't get how construction works. What is, what is your first name? I already told you. It's Chad. Chad at Clark's. Yep. Okay, so I'm on my way over. We're just, like, you're, you're just, you're being, I mean, really, the store is huge. I feel so bad for Clark's. It must suck to work there. It's like claustrophobic. I think it's about time to quit, but before we quit, we have to call the final boss. We have to call the mall office, because I imagine they've gotten a lot of interesting calls today, because I'm sure I'm going to edit a lot of the calls out of the show that I did today, because I just didn't like some of them. I only want to leave the best stuff in, but they've gotten a lot of calls today, even if you didn't hear a lot of calls on this show. Thank you for calling the mall, the small management. How may I assist you? Hey, uh, this is Chad over at Buckle. Yes, are you having a, somebody saying they're going to cut into your walls? What? No. How do you know about that? I'm, I'm like, you know how we share a wall, the, ma the mall management and buckle share a wall kind of? Yeah. I'm calling to let you know I'm going to be cutting a door in between our store oh. and your place inside there, your little office. Wait, what? Because we just need a place to store some of our extra inventory from buckles. Okay. Um, what, what do you, what, do you have what were you talking about? Somebody's prank calling all the stores saying that they're cutting into their walls. Oh, that's weird. Why yeah, that's they, what why I thought that you were talking about. No, why would they do so, that? No, no, we're actually, we're seriously going to, like, cut a door from our store into your office. Okay, uh, do y'all have any, like, paperwork for that? Oh, no, we're just going to do it. And uh, we're just going to store some things in there, just some boxes of merchandise. Like, you, it's, it's cool in there, right? Like, you guys aren't going to steal it. No, we're not going to take anything. Oh, what, why, is, why, is, why are other stores getting calls like this? I don't get it. I don't either. Like, what are they I, saying? They, they, it's been like 10 stores have called up here, and we're like, no, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Well, how do you know? Maybe they're going to do that for real. Oh, no, because we haven't had any, we have to have permission to do any type of construction in the wall. Nah, that's cool. Like, well, we don't have to have permission to cut a door from our store into your office, right? I would assume you would. Oh, see, you don't even know. Oh, uh, I, I can ask uh, my director. Oh, is is he in there? Or um, she? Hold on one second, please. Uh, okay. Hey, how can I help you? Oh, uh, hey, this is Chad over at Buckle. Yep. I'm just calling to let you know we're going to be, um, we're cutting a doorway in between our store and your, your mall, you, you know, your office area there? Because, you know, we share a wall in the back. Okay, are you over there at the store right now? Yeah, yeah, it's just, you know, I'm we're going to... Yeah, we're just going to store some inventory in there. Okay, I'll be, I'll be over there in one second. No, I don't, need, I don't need you to. We've already started. Well, then I'll be there. Well, I don't, I don't need you over here. You can't come in the back room. I'm not letting him in the back room. Who does he think he is? Thank you for calling mall this is mall management how may i assist you hey it's chad again yes sir. O over buckle yes hey um look i just want to confess it, it was actually me making all those prank calls i was just joking around yeah well it's not funny and you shouldn't be it's just slow. This? it's just slow hey it's chad over at buckle yeah now i, I just wanted to confess I, i've been the one making all those prank calls because it's been slow in our store today 
Where, where you you called all these stores and made those phone calls? Yeah, because it, it it's just been slow today. There hasn't been a lot of people, so we just thought we'd liven things up. You know, it's just harmless pranks. That's all. Yeah, well, we got. I mean, like it's not harmless because we're in the office and we've got like ten people calling, and it's busy in here. You can't do stuff like that. I know. We were just kidding around, though. It's not a big deal. It it is a big deal. Because I mean, you got like what else would you be doing today? You'd just be sitting around bored. Like, may, we liven things up for you. No, 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 uh-uh. Yeah, we did. We're not sitting around bored at all. It's Christmas and it's a mall. Well, I know, but, like, normally you'd be sitting around bored, but today you get to deal with prank calls. And tomorrow no. tomorrow it's going to seem really easy to work there because you won't have to deal with prank calls because I won't prank call anymore. And this is Chad from where? From Buckle. I'm just on the other side of your wall. I was telling the other girl I was going to chop a doorway through to the mall office. But I was just... It's Chad from Buckle. He thinks it's funny to call on they're, all these stores and make prank phone calls. They're just today. innocent prank calls. They're funny. It's a joke. I don't think it's really Chad from Buckle because the girl, guy who called Victoria's Secret. Yeah, we got him on call. Dude, it's somewhere. Is that him? Yeah. I, I wouldn't lie. This is not anybody at Buckle. No, Why? Why do, you say why do you say I'm not anyone at Buckle? Because if you're an employee at Buckle, we will be contacting your corporate office. Oh, no, I don't give you permission to contact the corporate office. You, you leave them alone. Okay, well, we're done talking. All right. Um, I'll be, but just, you know, see the humor in it. Come on. Some people just take things way too seriously. Red Coder. This mm. is Wayne Kreba. Hey, Wayne. I know where you are up in Orgy. And next time you're out taking a little hike, you better look out, because I'll be up on the rock, baby. And I'll be sitting there with my tomahawk. <laughs> right. Okay. No, don't play. Don't play. That's great. Okay. More threats. Been getting a lot of threats lately. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. Hey, Brad, I was wondering that, um, since you're, uh, since on days that you get raided by the FBI, uh, Trump's 1-0, and uh, for the presidency, on November 3rd, 2020, can you get raided by the FBI again? Uh, okay. I have to say, because our god emperor will rule the land for four more years. Okay. okay. That's all I have to say. King Cobra, since I can't say the away thing because it's forbidden, I'll just say King Cobra out. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that took a lot less time doing all that. Good job. Okay, getting raided by the FBI in 2020. Election time. Brad. I don't wow. know why. I don't understand what he was talking about, but okay. Dr. Astronaut. Long time, long time. Hey, hey Dr. Idea. Astronaut. Why don't you call up like a, I, I, I call up like a, like a movie theater. Mm -hmm. Pick a movie that's coming out, it's going to be on multiple screens, like uh, Aquaman. And then you go, you, you call and you say, hey, I'm in the movie theater, and these guys won't shut up. I need you to come here right now. I need you to tell them to shut up. And then they'll ask, like, what theater you're in, and you confuse them. And then say, if you don't get in here right now, you're going to raise your voice. You know? If you don't get in here right now, I'm going to start kicking ass and blah, blah, blah. You know? Yeah. They're like, I'm going to throw okay. my soda on this guy. I'm going to throw my popcorn on this guy. You know? And they're going to be freaking out and be running all the movie theaters trying to figure out which one you're in. Yeah, that's what they'll do. it's going to be on multiple screens. Of know? course. Yeah. So. Then I'll have Dwight in the background yelling at me for throwing a soda on his head. Get some sound effects of an angry crowd. Don't pick a character Riots. Top movie. That'd be like one screen, you know? Yeah, yeah. All Cause, right. Because Carrot Top still yeah. makes movies. I'm watching you. He has more movies than just his one, right? He does movies all the time. Hey, Brad. It's Carcinogenic. Hey. Uh, here's my friend John. Hey, John. Uh, we're watching your show. Watching He's a new it. listener, thanks to me. And Yay. I have something to say. I'm not sure about him, but uh, yeah. yeah, I was thinking about... I'm pretty about, sure uh, John doesn't even exist, does he? He's not saying anything. Uh, why can no one say away anymore? Because uh, it's annoying. I don't know, because everybody was doing it a few years ago. Like, everybody, every single voicemail, and it was just super irritating, so... Is it because you're a cocksucker and you just want to have power over people? Yeah, or pretty much. Something an, else. an asshole. Um, yeah, I just want to know that. So it says the guy with the imaginary friend. And Whatever. For the last time, I guess, uh, carcinogenic is forever away. See, that's acceptable. You can do that. I give you permission to do that, since I'm such a controlling person. Red box chili pepper. Hey. <laughs> What? Ah, the hell um, is this? Anyway, I just wonder if uh, there's be a sequel to it. 
and I kept up on the heaters. A sequel. Uh, since she uh, it was really awesome, seriously. Uh, cactus Cat. Thanks. Whatever you're talking about. Thank you. I hope I make a sequel to it, too. I definitely foresee that happening, whatever you were referencing. And look at that. That was the very last voicemail. That's the shortest voicemail segment we've ever had. I'm sure that's really going to upset people because people love the voicemails. They love to listen to 20 minutes worth of voicemails. They wish there could be more voicemails. I blame this short voicemail segment on high school graduate and Julian J and Christine and Nikki D and especially Sim Speak because they're the sponsors of today's show. If you'd like to be a sponsor or just support the show and get your extra show every week, you can do that over at patreon.com slash phone losers or even on phone losers.org slash cactus. That's my pretend Patreon for people that don't like Patreon. You get basically the same thing that way. You get your extra show and all that. Thank you, everybody, for listening today. I promise the next show will have nothing to do with the mall, okay? I'm going to take a break from the mall calls. Maybe for the rest of the year. I don't know. No guarantees on that because I've been kind of having fun with these mall calls. But definitely the next show will not be mall calls. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to have nothing to do with the mall. I promise. Let's end the show with some Bone Cage. I don't play enough Bone Cage anymore. Here's some Bone Cage. If I was a bird, all I'd ever do is sing. But I'm not a bird. Listen, you can't do that. You just hold off.